Welcome back, this is Thomas solving the group theory problems. We've got exercise 3.2, problem 7, and the statement we have to prove here goes as follows. We have a one-dimensional representation of a group, and the absolute value of any group element in that representation is equal to 1. If you think about characters, and if you think about the definition of characters, and matrix representations of those characters, this statement is trivial. Therefore, we prove a little lemma which is a little more general. Namely, for a general representation u, the character is the sum of the character of the identity element n roots of unity. So this is a number here. So we have, let's say, 2, 3, 1, 5 n roots of unity. For the proof, we don't need much. We just need some definitions. First of all, we notice that the character is the sum of the eigenvalues of the matrix representation of that element. You have that from the definition. Then, we, when we're talking about these eigenvalues, we notice that these are the roots of unity, because you have x to the n minus 1 equal to 0, and then you regroup that equation, so you take the nth root of unity. The last part we need is what does, what does it mean to have the character of the identity element. And if you look at matrix representation, then you realize that the dimension of our general representation is exactly equal to the character of our identity element. Because you have only once in the diagonal and you have dimension of our representation times of them. This proves our lemma. And then all we do is take u equal to t1d and we see that the character of t1d of any element g in its absolute value is equal to 1 because we have only one nth root of unity. This proves our proposition and therefore our statement is proven. Thank you for watching. If you got any questions, please ask. See you next time.